Hello, and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm your Captain Whale, and in today's episode, we're going to see if we can't knock out two colonies at once, starting with Colony 4, Revitalized. The only quest that, from what I've been able to tell, is from Colony 4. If we do get done with Colony 4, we'll head back to Colony 9 and see how things are going on. Let's lay out the facts. The mood in Colony 4 seems to be a lot livelier than before, somehow. I agree. It's likely because they can access the food and resources they need now. I'm so glad they seem to have weathered the storm. Speaking of food, Colony 4 took down that whop of an Armu, right? Wow, I bet they got a lot of meat out of that thing. I've heard they got some amazing cuts from it, like first-rate fillets. Bet they've been stuffing themselves with them all day. First rate fillets? That makes me drool so much I'm about to get dehydrated. When do I get to eat some, huh? R right. Think they'd let us have a little nibble? I don't know. They might think it a bit presumptuous of us if we come asking. Okay, well, but look here. Surely we've helped them out enough to earn at least a few bites, right? Ah, oh, great. All this talk of meat, and now it's the only thing I want to eat. Samesies. Me too. Good grief, you people. Beyond Mercy and Revenge accepted. That's all we're going to discuss for the meantime. We have swapped Ethel back into the party as she is the commander of Colony 4. Even if this Ethel is not the commander of Colony 4. Oh, hey, you lot, you came at just the right time. We got our hands on some high-quality meat recently. Care to try some? Oh, you mean from that huge Amu you hunted? Yeah. Eh, how'd you know about that? Is that why you came here in the first place? Well, uh, we just heard you had some first-rate fillets, and then we couldn't stop thinking about them, so... <laughs> Sorry. So it is why you schlepped yourselves all this way. Didn't expect you to have such a base motivation, gotta say. Uh, our apologies. If we've offended, we'll just go. Nah, it's fine. We already decided we'd treat you as thanks for your help. So yeah, grab some seats and I'll bring it right out for you. I've got plenty of that first-rate filet you want so much, and it's got your names on it. Woo, I'm stuffed, mate. Don't think I've had such tasty meat in all my life. Oh yeah, me too. I'm almost tearing up over how good it was. It definitely earned that first-rate pot. It melted on my tongue like some kind of huge, juicy, meaty snowflake. Indeed. I won't be forgetting this anytime soon. Ah, <laughs> what, what great feedback. Glad to see my hard work didn't go to waste. That was super delicious. Thank you for... Thank you so much for everything. Hmm? Something wrong? What? I... What? My body feels numb. Hey, hey what's going on? Stay with me. S somebody come quick. I need the med team here. Stat! Ah, uh, is everyone all right? Uh, I don't feel right at all. My body feels wrung out. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. What the spark happened? It seems we were transported to the medic team after losing consciousness. Let's ask Olashandra what happened. She might know something. I feel like Jeremy's involved in whatever just happened. Ah, what a relief. Looks like you're back on your feet. How do you feel? My head still feels fuzzy. Any clue what happened to us back there? Actually, about that, I'll tell you, but please try not to freak out. To be truthful, we found traces of poison in the food you ate earlier. But poison Relax, please. It won't have any lasting effects thanks to how quickly you received treatment. So does that mean that Laszlo guy put poison in our dinner? 
He's actually being questioned by Bolearis in command right now. We should go there too. What he did was awful, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, there's no gray area to this. We can't let this slide. Hmm. He's being set up to take the fall for what Jeremy did, is what I'm getting towards here. So let's go clear our boy's name. Oh, we're gonna switch things up and play as Mio in case there's any fighting. Ah, uh, there you are. I'm so happy you're still breathing. I heard what happened. Sorry to hear you got involved in this kind of mess. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what we came here to talk about. Right, I see. I suppose you must think I'm the culprit. It's so obvious anyone would. But I didn't do it, I swear. You have to believe me. Or so he claims, but who else could have done it if not him? Uh, Jeremy could have. Can you wait a bit before you decide to punish him, Bolearis? Why do you ask that? If he didn't do it, as he says, then the real culprit must be out there somewhere, no? Yeah, I suppose. Are you saying you're gonna try and catch them? Ah. I should point out, though, this isn't your responsibility. Ah, uh, no, what, never mind. I'll stop being an idiot now. All right, then. I'll leave the investigation in your capable hands while I keep an eye on Laszlo here. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I hate to put you out like this. Don't worry. We'll try and straighten this all out. Lovely sentiment, Mio love, but how exactly do you propose we do that? We should gather info at the very least. Let's check out any places we think could be somewhat relevant. Yes, exactly. Let's look for clues, no matter how trivial they may seem. Okay, uh, time to look for clues uh, all around the colony. On the true villain, you say, game. We already know who the true villain is. We just need confirmation to confirm our bias. And we will only find evidence that suits our own view of things, because that's how real investigations work, right? You get a picture of the suspect in your head, then you keep bashing things against the wall until you find evidence that sticks. I know that's not entirely how it works, but uh, you're pretty close. Hello there. Hey, Olishandra, we wanted to ask you about the poison. Before you do, let me take this opportunity to apologize. Apologize? What for? The neurotoxin you were given came from the medical team stores. Really? Well, it's not meant as a toxin, really. It's supposed to be a pain-relieving medication. But if you overdose, then, well... Can you can you guess who it could have been that took the substance from your stores? Well, it goes without saying that the medic team and I can access it. The only other people I can think of are the soldiers in the tactician squad. But they often take some of it on missions to use on any wounded soldiers. I've warned them about it many times, but I never can be too strict with them. They are putting their lives on the line for us. So the poison came from the medic team. It really was an inside job by a member of Colony 4. The Poisoner, one of three. Hey, 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 I recognize that silhouette. It's our real perp. Kukucha! Why, Kukucha, have never ever met someone so rude? Hey, hey, you friends, let Kukucha bend your ear a minute! What's up, something wrong? Kukucha saw a soldier in kitchen earlier, sneaking around all creepy-like. 
So Kukucha say please not to go in there super duper politely. Then he say to Kukucha, shut up and shove me and run off like zoom. Then Kukucha fell flat on bottom. It still sting now. I see. Uh, that sounds rough. That person had such bad nature. Kukucha is squad leader. Surely have earned some respect. Kokucha is sure they come to pilfer first-rate fillets of Laszlo. What greedy manners. Oh, so he went into the kitchen while Laszlo was cooking. That is right. That is right. Is that relevant for something? Did you catch a glimpse of his face? Of course, but me forgot it about three ticks later. I don't know who this guy was, but he sounds mega suspicious to me. A rude soldier in the kitchen. Let's keep that in the back of our minds for now. The Poisoner 2 of 3. Hey, Solon. I heard what happened at the canteen. That can't have been fun. We're looking for clues right now. Could you tell us if you know anything? Yes, of course. I'll tell you everything I know. First of all, the meat you all ate came from a giant armu that the tactician squad procured. Usually that kind of catch is examined by us before we hand it over to Kukucha in the culinary team. There was no funny business like putting poison in the armu meat when we were looking at it. So you mean that it was... So you mean the meat was first rate when you saw it, eh, eh? Senna, keep it in your pocket. This is just guesswork for me, but I think the meat was probably poisoned after we handed it to the kitchen. So, you're saying that it's more likely the poison was added in the cooking stage? That's what I think anyway. It's purely conjecture, though. So maybe it really was, Laszlo. Hey, we still don't know that for sure. There might be some other clues around. Poisoner, three of three. And uh, yeah, that is definitely who I think it is. I'd recognize that back of the head from that one cutscene at the end of chapter two any day of the week. I've been craving some downtime. Now we discuss. The poisoner. Have a moment of your time? Let's summarize all the information we've gathered so far then. First of all, the poison used in the attack is a medicine purloined from the medic team. We also know there's a high chance that the poison was put in during cooking. So that soldier from another unit must have slipped into the kitchen and done it then. If Laszlo really isn't the baddie, then that, per then that person would be mega suspicious. But we still have no idea who that could, have be could, uh, could even be. Let's go over the facts carefully one more time. The people who could access the poison are the medical team and tactician squad. And then there was the soldier in the kitchen with uh, bad nature, according to Kakucha. Are they the only bad-natured soldiers in the meta? Uh, are there any bad-natured soldiers in the medical or tactician squads? Oh, Sparks! What? What's wrong, Senna? Mimi! I know! I know who the culprit is! What? It has to be him! I don't know about the medical team, but the tactician squad, there's one bad-natured soldier. Oh, I know who you mean. It must be that guy, yeah! Jeremy, what did you do this time? We know exactly what you did this time. Oh, him. I remember him. He's that soldier who ran randomly started butting heads with us. He could get his hands on the poison, and we all know he has a bad nature. He also told Mio to watch out for poison before. It sounded kind of like a threat. It ha that has to be our guy, no doubt about it. Wait a minute, Senna. We still don't know for sure. He was openly hostile to us, so there's a clear motive there. Crap, he won't get away with this. Just wait till I find that mutter. I said wait. M Mio? Calm down, everybody. Let's talk to Laszlo one more time first. I'm sure he's been anxiously waiting to hear what we have to say. Y yeah you're right. Hmm. You okay, Mimi?
let's keep things on a tight loop. And now that the rain has come to the desert, let's take shelter in the Ferranis as we climb up to command once more. Oh, and it, you will also note that uh, this was not the shape of, of Ferranis that Ethel had back in the scene where we saw her fateful duel with Kamaravi where she was stripped of her silver rank. And later we saw that same Ferranis shape being the one to fly through the ocean vortex and explode. When talking about how no one has ever sur survived the trip across the vortex. And later that same Ferranis reappeared as H's new Ferranis refitted with a new flame clock. So maybe it was destroyed in the flight back to origin and the parts recovered so it could be reassembled with H's new prototype flame clock. Just a little food for thought about Colony 4 while we're at it. There you are. Well, well, did you catch the culprit? Before we go about that, we need to ask, do you know Jeremy the tactician? Oh, oh yeah, of course. We're in the same t term. Wait, are you telling me he's the culprit? We're not certain yet, but there's a high possibility it's him, yes. No way. I mean, yes way, he's certainly capable of such a thing. Indeed, he didn't seem too keen on us before. Heh, you're not the only ones. I have the feeling he's not too fond of me either. Ah. I actually used to belong to the tactician squad, but got injured in battle and transferred to the kitchens. Back then, my two teammates were Jeremy and my dear friend Mercutio. Wait, is that the soldier who fought against Colony Psy and... Jeremy probably hates me just as much as the Agnians who killed our friend, just for taking you guys in. So that's why he tried to pin the blame on you, after trying to poison us? Alright, we get the picture. We can hear the rest after we catch him. Wait, hold on, please. Let me come with you. Uh, weren't you under arrest? It's okay, you can go. I'll take responsibility. Just sort this mess out. Acting Commander, thank you so much. In that case, we just need to find out where he is. It's probably quicker to ask Captain Maxi where he is since he's Jeremy's superior. A good thinking. Let's hurry up and catch this miscreant. Good Mio shot there for a thumbnail candidate. Oh, so that's how they're doing. And boy, I will say, nothing like showing a picture of Mio next to Nia in a thumbnail to get more views than average on a video. Hey, Captain Maxi, do you know where Jeremy is? Oh, hello, Laszlo. I thought I heard Boliaris took you into custody. Well, we'll explain the details later. Can you please tell us where Jeremy is first? He's on patrol duty with Yord. It seemed quite urgent. Floran! Take this lot down Route C and convene with Jeremy's patrol. Post haste. Got it. They should be near the D uh, Dana Desert. It's a bit of a trek, so bear with. Namba Mound. We will... Let's see here. Uh... It's actually closer to Raptor Perch. Because there's the Namba Mound camp. So, perch on a raptor, we will. Yes, I know, it's technically supposed to be a place where raptors perch, but... It's funnier to perch on a raptor than to have a raptor perching on something. And I've just ruined it because I explained the joke. I guess Sino should be my Genshin spirit animal rather than Tartalia. 
Why is Tartalia my spirit animal? Uh, wait for my Tartalia and Layla wishing video to find out. Just trying to get a little cross-pollination between series is going on here. What's going on, Yord? What's wrong? What happened? And where's that snuffin' Jeremy? Ah, Jeremy, he... When he saw you approaching, he suddenly spiraled into a complete panic. Then he whacked me on the head, probably trying to knock me out. Ah. Oh. That asshole. How could he do this to his own patrol mate? He won't get away with this. Take it easy, Floran. You just take care of Yord's wounds for now. We'll go chase after Jeremy. Someone needs to look after her. Now look here. All right, understood. Just be sure to give him a whack upside the chin for me, you hear? Let's go follow him while we, while we, uh, while we can still see his footprints. Come on, hurry. Oh, so that's how they do it. Who knew the kid from the Zitz comics would give us th this much trouble? At least we can track him from his gigantic feet. Ah yes, the pit where there's a giant fish hanging around. That fish will be part of the next round of unique monster hunting. He is weaker than Gonzalez, after all. And we already made a nice, tasty Gonzalez eyeball out of him. Or at least we would have if they had had the foresight to have Gonzalez also drop the Gonzalez eyeball recipe. Shame on you, Monolith Soft. I want to be able to actually make Manana's mean dish. Oh, sorry, bananas mean dish. Oh, Jeremy, what have you gotten yourself into now? Jeremy! Gah. Hey, you haven't been on the front lines in a while, have you? Just hang back. Huh? Are you trying to help him? No, we're trying to help the Scorepoxes. Yes, we'll deal with this. Alright, I'll stay out of your way. What level are these guys? Pitiful. Let's draw the anger. Get our awakening immediately. Let's get our field down and a bit of a taunt on us. Top one to the ground there. Okay, yeah, Senna is still our uh, lost vanguard and actually has a smash on her. Jeremy, you put the poison in their food, didn't you? Ha, <laughs> so you figured it out. If you're gonna kill me, just hurry up and do it. Stop talking nonsense. You know Mercutio wouldn't have wanted this. What the snuff do you know about him? You just ran away from the fight, coward. You don't get a say. Ah. You're a traitor to your friends, setting the pass aside like that. Like you've plain forgotten about Mer uh, Mercutio. He'd be ashamed of you kissing up to the enemy like that. N you're wrong about me. All I did was... 
Whatever you might think, none of that is an excuse to lash out against your comrades. I'm not listening to word a snuffing Agnian has to say. Mimi! I wasn't joking when I said you can shoot me if you want to. Shut up! I don't want to hear any more. But, looking at you now, I'm pretty sure you won't shoot. Shut your trap! If you want me to kill you that badly, I'll make sure I finish the job this time. Ugh. Ugh. Crap, snuff it all! Why? How did it be how did it come to this? What did I do wrong? Are you saying I'm the traitor? My friend was killed. I can never forget that. Why can't I shoot? Oh, snuff it. Hmm. I'll take Jeremy back to the colony. It's okay if I take over from here, right? I'm sorry, Laszlo. It's not your fault. Actually, it's nobody's fault. It's the war's fault, but at some point, somebody's going to have to put an end to all that, hopefully. I'm talking about you, Ouroboros. I'm sure he gets that, too. <sighs> it's not my place to ask you this, but will you please come back to check in on us? Yes, of course. Quest, uh, quest complete, beyond mercy and revenge, zero experience, 2190 gold, and three obsolete soul points. And a tactical gloves, which are probably just going to get sold. We are so close to uh, Affinity 5, so we're actually going to uh, take a minute here, find some Colony 4s. We got it all, as requested. Looks like we're all done. I hope it made them happy. We probably got a lot of this. So it's gonna We got it off as requested. We, got we also have, I believe, a lot of these. Great guys, keep this. And up. that did it. So if you're close to it at the end of there, just spam some collectopedia cards. Now, we'll briefly, uh, head back to Colony 4 and check around. I don't know if we'll finish Colony 9 today, or I don't even know if we'll get to Colony 9 today because we have more Colony 4 to do. So, we're gonna go for it. Pun intended. Oh, it's you lot. Good day, everyone. Sup, so, looks like you fixed it up good and proper. Are you okay, though? Maybe I'm just imagining things, but you seem a lot less peppy than before. Yeah, I haven't slept a wink since I last saw you. Maybe that's why. Have you really been working nights just to fix this thing? Yep. I figured out how the levitational mechanism works, but now we've got a new big problem on our hands. And what would that be? Well, you see, the levness requires a colossal amount of energy to hover. So we need to get our hands on a gargantuan number of ether cylinders. There's no way we could afford it. Without surpassing this problem, my hypothesis is just an armchair theory. An unactualized fantasy, so to speak. Hmm. I'm- I'm not following, but I assume you mean you've reached a dead end? Mm-hmm. Dinzel is gonna have my head at this rate. I used up resources like they grow on trees, so if I don't get a result, I'll have to offer up my life as penance. Now that's a bit dramatic. 
You don't know how scary he can get. It could happen. Is there nothing else we can do? Like get more parts for another study? Unfortunately, the power supply short circuits the moment the Levinus is destroyed. So there'd be no point. Oh wait, with that kind of airframe then perhaps. Wait, oh oh, it's coming to me, yes. This fellow is as hectic as ever, having a light bulb moment or something. Yes, I am. There's this one thing we have to do, and I'll need your help again. Gotcha. If we can do it, we'll do it. I hope you'd say that. Don't worry. It's not a difficult task. It's the same thing you did before. You want us to find more Levinus parts for you? Basically, yes. But this time, it'll have to be a Levinus called the Mechapod Carthagia. It's a highly sophisticated Levinus with a perfect safety mechanism around his power system. I bet you could acquire the part. Without getting it damaged in the process, it'll be a tough opponent, but I believe you would be able to stand a chance. Mechapod Carthagia, huh? Where is it then? To the best of my knowledge, it's been sighted at Lavi Sandbar. We'll do that. W well, we'll do what we can, but don't blame me if the part does end up getting a bit banged up, okay? Oh, don't worry. If that happens, it'll let Dinzel... Uh, I'll, I'll let Dinzel kill me to, to make up for it. That's a lot of responsibility to bear. No pressure, eh? A Burning Curiosity Part 2. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Let's, uh... Oh yeah, we can more than handle this. We could have done these quests a long time before Origin. A lavy sandbar, I'm going to assume. Hey, Jeremy. Yep, Cadenzia region. Um, what? You think we've got something to talk about? I got nothing. Right, very well. The time to talk is over. Just get out there and make an end of it. All this fighting's taken away so much from us already. Rude. How rude. Floran. Hey, Laszlo told me about Jeremy. I can't forgive him for hurting Yord like that. To be honest, I feel like I'd need to give him a good punch to settle it. But when I think about how isolated and about how isolated and driven into a corner he was. I realized that it would have been much better if we'd have talked to him and thrashed it out within the tactician squad. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Now we're going to go to the Cadenzia region. The Lavi Sandbar is... Ah, here. I guess I should have known. It's uh, it is where the sandbar Hulk is, after all. It makes sense now. Or for those of you familiar with the world of Alres as well as the world of Ionios, the Spirit Crucible Elpis. Hey, that's not your everyday jump. These guys are not going to be attacking us. There it is, with its buddies. Is that the Mechapod Carthagia that... that Emir mentioned? It appears to be accompanied by Agnian troops. Let's get the parts we need and move out before they call reinforcements. Got it. Let's nab those parts and leg it back to Emir. Eyes over here. Keep it up, Neo. Ah, I couldn't keep them in check. Eyes over here. Deflect the field. You're dealing with me. Time to get cut. Uni is so frail as a full metal jaguar. Yeah. 
let's uh, target down to help. Throw down another field for fast recharge. It's fun having that on a kit that likes to stand right in place. And now... I guess we are in the hand capture there. Yep, we were. Not gonna be getting no awakening from the topple here. Now, let's get out of here. First time I, I've ever been caught as a player-controlled character in that little throwing hands there. Fornus region full. And to the Faranus hatch we travel. So yeah, that fostering classes three tip there is exactly what I'm talking about when I say their uh, proficiency with a class. The S, A, B, C, or D up in the top right corner determines how fast a character accrues class points when playing in that class. Here, the part from the Levness you pointed us to. Is it what you needed? Oh my, this is stupendous. I can't see a single scratch on it. It's like it's brand new. Do you think this will solve your problem? Yes, all I have to do is put my theory into practice. Let me quickly combine the components and attach them to the Levness. Whoa, it moved. Does that mean it worked? Yes, no doubt about it. This is the best result we could have wished for. Let me compose myself. To be honest, I was half doubting my theory before. But I can't doubt what I just saw. Everyone listen. I've been relying too much on established concepts. There's been a terrible oversight on my part. What oversight? Before, I'd guessed that the technology was essentially located in the Agni and Levness's levitational mechanism. But when I opened it up, what did I find, you may ask? That it's actually super efficient at energy conduction. Energy conduction. Ah, uh, yes, I read about the underlying theory in a report about Levness's once. The process for converting the energy from an ether cylinder always results in a loss of energy. I think it said that. That's exactly right. However, Agni and Levnesses in particular have barely any loss of energy during that process. Sorry, Emir, can you simplify that a bit for us amateurs? Uh, roughly speaking, it means that it can operate at full power without wasting as much energy as before. Hmm, I see, but uh, is that really such a big deal? Of course it is. For instance, our Faranus has been out of order until now. Without a flame clock, ether cylinders don't output sufficient energy, making it utterly impossible to operate our Furanus. However, with this technology, we can create a power system to rival the flame clock by our own means. And with that system, we can get the Furanus up and running once more. Whoa, are you serious? Deadly. Well, theoretically, of course. Depending on time, resources, and available manpower, too. In other words, it's going to take a while. I am so grateful to you all. Thanks to you, my results far exceeded my expectations. 
With this outcome alone, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be the next captain. A captain can allocate endless resources. My research will bring advances li the likes of which have never been seen before. You're starting to worry me, matey. Ah, well, whatever. Fill your boots. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it so much. I'll do my very best. If the Ferranis starts working again, the first thing I'll do is help you out. When the time comes, just remember what a bloody genius I was. And that concludes that. A Burning Curiosity Part 2, 0 experience, 2190 gold, 3 surplus soul points, and a platinum brooch. And let's check our map again. No more question marks popping up on said map. Maybe that required Affinity Stars 5 and us doing those uh, Collectopedia cards just got us there. Hey, Emir. Operational Feranis, Operation Feranis Reboot is steadily progressing. The grand reveal is nigh. Speaking of, the Dinzel's been a lot more cooperative than I thought he'd be. Thanks to him, it's been going shockingly well. Looks like he finally recognized what an absolute genius I am. Ha 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 ha! Sounds like Dinzel's going through it too. Yord. Since the incident, a lot of people in the colony are starting to condemn Jeremy for what he did. It's understandable, but it ultimately won't solve anything to drive him to the edge like that. It's all one big mess at the moment, isn't it? Especially given Jeremy's motives. Yeah, I mean, I just want to find a peaceful resolution to it all, as a member of the Tactician Squad. Oh, so that's how they're doing. There you are, Dinzel. Spock me, Emir really looked looked hard at that Agnian Levness tech, huh? He got stuck in there and nailed all the physics and whatnot just with self-study. Did he even get it was a big deal? He's a real force to be reckoned with. I could even see him being next in line if he wasn't so spark and anal about everything. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Hey Dinzel, I I don't think we're allowed to say that word on the YouTubes. Such a pleasant fragrance. Hey, Laszlo. It's gonna take a whole lot more than an apology to make amends for what Jeremy did. He's going to get a suitable punishment for this. I don't think he's got a leg to stand on in Colony 4, either. Even so, I still believe in him. If I didn't, he'd be on his own right now, that's for sure. Mercutio would have done the same, I think. That's what friends do, right? Oh, so that's how they're doing. That quest there does add new depth of meaning to the whole cutscene with uh, Jeremy, Senna, and Mio back when we first liberate Colony 4. Due to the fact that we now know that uh, Jeremy's friend, and I guess now teammate as well, was also friends and teammates with Laszlo, with Laszlo being the opposite of Jeremy in welcoming us to the colony all the way back then. Does Maxi have anything new to say about Jeremy's developments? Well, if he does, he's not here. I wonder where the boss of Team Magma could have gotten off to. Here it is a nameless person. I think for now what we're going to do is just uh, call this an episode here after uh, reuniting Ethel and Bolearis in the same room. Get over here, Ethel. Get over here next to you, boy. Ah, eh, good enough. Now, with that, I have been your Captain Whale. If you did like this video, make sure to like, comment, and sub to the channel if you have not done so already. All three of those help me out considerably and cost only a few moments of your time. Even though it is not necessary, I do appreciate every single subscription, like, and comment you leave. And now, with that said and done, I hope you all are having fantastic days, Whale Pod. But until next time, this is Captain Whale, signing off.